My family is from Iraq, but we were living in Syria when it happened. My brother and I were in medical school. One day, a friend called me. He said, come see your brother, he has hepatitis. In school, I had learned hepatitis just requires rest and for the patient to eat a healthy diet with honey. So I thought there was no need for me to go. Then my friend called again and said, come home now. When I arrived, I saw my father and neighbors waiting in the street outside our home. From their faces, I knew he had passed. It was just one week after the symptoms started. When I read the medical records, I learned it was fulminant hepatitis B. This is when the liver fails very quickly. At that time, it was not common to get vaccinated. No one was aware of the need. Even medical professionals did not know. Three months before my brother had passed away, he told me, Sura, I was suturing and the needle broke. I pierced my finger. Soon after, he got hives and fatigue. I told him it's probably nothing serious, but it was. He was just 21 years old. For my family, it was the hardest moment in our lives. My brother was so strong, so smart, but in the end we are human beings and we are not always strong. I have since learned that fulminant hepatitis is very rare. In 1995, when it happened, there was no opportunity for a liver transplant to save his life. Today, many people still are not aware about hepatitis B. I'm studying medicine again, this time to practice in the US. I'm learning everything I can about hepatitis B. And I tell everyone, get vaccinated, so they don't have to go through what my family has gone through. Just be vaccinated.